case you didn't notice, from Las Vegas, Nevada. We are in the Zappos Theater. The Zappos Theater, this is the only theater in America where you can order a pair of shoes and they'll be on your feet by the end of the show. This is our closing night here in Las Vegas. And um, I have to say, I barely, I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way through. I came here on an airplane, I'll be leaving on a mobility scooter. It's, <laughs> uh, we had a great week. We've had a lot, I love Vegas. Here's why Vegas is number one. It's because it's not just, I'll explain it. It's not just one city. All the great cities of the world are represented here. You've got New York, you've got Paris, you've got Rome, you've got Margaritaville, every place. <laughs> if New York is the city that never sleeps, Vegas is the city that's been jacked up on Red Bull for 48 hours straight. And there is alcohol everywhere here. There's, there's even a bar at Dry Bar. Dry, in Vegas, even Dry Bar isn't dry. That's how much alcohol there is. But I have to hand it to our crew and our staff, even though there have been many temptations to drink to excess, to stay up too late, they have been, we have the most professional group here. They've, safety is our number one priority here at the show. I want to thank everyone who worked to put this show together. I want to thank Caesars Palace and Planet Hollywood and the Zappos Theater. And thanks to the staff. Thanks to Kate Whiteley and Michael Gruber. So many people worked to make this happen. But mostly I want to thank you guys for coming out and waiting in line to see this. Uh, we have loved every secondhand smoke filled minute of, it, of being here. I know Guillermo has really had a, Guillermo, where's, oh no, where is Guillermo? Well, oh my goodness, I, I think I hear his music. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Safety goggles to look at you. This is amazing. Thank you, Guillermo. Please. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> How is your body holding up, Guillermo? Terrible, Jimmy. Terrible, Terrible huh? Yeah. I might die any minute. <laughs> it's liber mariachi we have here. That's right. No, you have to go. I have a mission for you. So you get to your spot, okay? All right, Guillermo will be back in a, a few minutes. Many years ago, I lost my virginity in this city in the parking lot of what was then the Continental Hotel. And, and this, week, I, this week, I came back to find it, and I was unable to do that. It's still out there somewhere. But all this week, my coworkers have been asking me, what was it like to live here, to be here all the time? And in a lot of ways, living in Vegas is like living inside a glow stick. It's uh, the possibilities are you can have shrimp and jello for breakfast any time of day or night. And there's something for everyone here. In one spot, you've got the finest Italian sushi, Chinese food, and then two doors down, they're serving a bottomless bucket of Guy Fieri's turbo-loaded bacon chimichanga curly waffles. There's, by the way, I, I want to mention, did you know that it's illegal to smoke marijuana on the strip? That's why no one ever does it. It's why it never happens. It's been fun to see so many of my childhood friends and neighbors and all of those people here at the show this week. And we've been getting visits from luminaries, too. In fact, our newly elected senator representing the state of Nevada, Senator Jackie Rosen, is here with us tonight. Hi, Jackie. And her husband, Larry, is here. Thank you, Jackie, for coming and for protecting our health care. Very good to see you, Jackie. You know, we got, a, um, we got an email last night saying we have to go to the airport an hour earlier tomorrow because there's extra security because the president, you know that guy? He's coming to Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's not, the Secret Service will be here and we'll, we'll all be in trouble. Trump will be appearing at the annual leadership conference for the Republican Jewish Coalition. A lot of people don't know Donald J. Trump. The J stands for Jewish. So, but this is the Facebook announcement. This is how they promoted the event. Zoom in on that face, because look, what is this? He looks like a guy who wants to represent you in a mesothelioma lawsuit. 
So tomorrow we'll have a Vegas will have another carrot top in town. Thanks for watching and remember every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.